because I accidentally and then oh. Twitter being a dick. Alright, so last time uh, we started climbing the tower. The end tower, the mysterious tower that all the villagers told us to stay away from. We discovered the villagers are all robots. Um, made by the Baron and his friend, the janitor. And this curious village is indeed extremely curious. Before we jump back into the story, uh, I'm actually going to do some of the bonus puzzles, because if I leave it to the end, there's going to be like just a string of bonus puzzles in a row, and I'd rather break them up a little bit, so. There's one left uh, in the inventor's house. Give 123 tons of triangles a red hot go. The diagram below shows a triangle with several lines running through it. How many different triangles can you spot within the diagram? Okay. One big one. Alright, okay, I can write quite a lot. That's good. Very good at drawing straight lines with a mouse. There's one. Let me get the little ones first. Okay, so there's one. Four. Four little ones. Uh, let's make ones with two areas inside them. Four. Five. Any others that just have two areas? That's 
Alright, other than that, okay, now, uh, with three. Yeah, counting. Okay, I think I got all the ones with three inside them. I think there's just three. Ah, uh, now for four. Overall one, which I've already counted. All right, can't do another count. Just one big one. Four little ones. Ones with. side one, just three of those. Yes, it's a lot. It's a lot. Ah, there is, and there's another one there. Okay, so I counted five last time, but there's actually six. Okay. And then for three, there's one... Three. Three. Ah, yeah, that one. Don't see any others, and then there are three fours. So I've got seventeen. One plus four plus six plus three plus three is seventeen. Okay. Well, I guess I get to save state and uh, check if this is right. Okay, this is my first guess. Have a look. So yeah, my thing was to like try and do it by how many areas we're in each. Hey, excellent. Try and like systematically do it. So how many we're in? Like count all the ones that were made of. Yeah. So count the one that was made of one, and then one that was made of two. Ah, so there yeah, they showed it here. So yeah, I I, I did it. Like counting the areas inside the triangle. So the ones that are ones were this one, that's one, that's one, that's one. And the ones that had two shapes inside them, and then the ones that three and then four. And the overall one. It's there are a lot of triangles. This also seems good. So basically black out the area. No, I wasn't gonna read the red light lines. I had to input the number. Alright. Over, I've completed all of the inventor house, so now it's the art lover house, which I unlocked in the last stream. Let's start 127, perimeter perplexer. 
Gotta go. All you know about the plot of land below is what's written here. Even those few measurements are offering enough information to accurately calculate the plot's perimeter. How many meters long is the perimeter? Bear in mind the diagram may not be proportionally accurate. Ooh. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, as long as you get the correct answer, they don't care how you got there. Okay. Um, so we know this links. We actually know... Can I... Yeah. We actually know the length of this bit, this bit, and this bit. Way to write. Um, it's five. Because it's the same length, it goes the same length, so... Really the only length I don't know here is... This and this, right? Figure this out from five and... The diagram may not be proportionally accurate. Um, but it's like an algebra thing, right? This length here... The length... At least it's like 5 plus... All this x and y help me out. Um, so x equals 5 plus... 3 minus y? y equals... I don't know if this helps me any. Um... Think of this. Damn it, I had it in my brain and now it's gone. I guess the thing is, it doesn't really matter how long this bit is because it's added to the corresponding length here, right? If this was 1, if, if y was 1, then x would be 7, and if y is 2, then x would be 6, so the total is always 8. Is that correct? I think, right? Because this distance and the extra distance here is 3 this. So... X plus Y equals 8. Yeah, that makes sense. It, X equals 8 minus Y, so X plus Y equals 8. Um, then 8 plus 3 plus 15... 26? Alright, the perimeter is 26 meters. Excellent. I think I got it! Beautiful, I figured it out. I did it! I can maths. Ha! 
Ah, yes, they did X, Y, and Z. So, yes, X, the, these three together. Yeah, the bottom edge will always be 5 plus 3 minus X, so, yeah. They've weirded this in a really weird way, haven't they? Um, so they moved the 3 down here. Yes, so A plus B equals 3. Um, I have the 5 up to here. You know, they've, they've done this in a slightly awkward way, but it's essentially the same. Yeah, they probably did move it for visual clarity, but kind of... But weird. Alright, 1, 2, 8. Number lock. Do give this puzzle a try, hell yeah. Door in front of you has an odd lock mounted on the front. The only way to unlock the strange contraption is to place small tiles labeled from 1 to 9 in its slots. The lock will open when the numbers in the lock equal the same number when multiplied vertically and horizontally. There are 9 tiles, but the lock only has 7 slots, so you won't need 2 tiles. Can you open... Person the lock equal the same number when multiplied vertically in half. So I guess like I have to find um a number which I can multiply. Oh god, I don't I don't get to draw on this. Okay, thank you. Um I would like to draw on this. Where this number multiplied by this number multiplied by this number equals this number multiplied by this multiplied by this and and so on. Interesting. Their number pretty high number. You aren't needed. I guess the thing for me is how to start this. What do I wanna... It's a little like Sudoku. Um... I guess... I guess I need high and low numbers, like, kind of opposite each other. One's also interesting because one probably wants to go with nine because nine multiplied by anything else is going to reach a double-digit number, and then that, that has to get multiplied onwards. Um, so we want nine. If nine is one of the ones used, it'll have to be in a corner. Multiply by one means we only have nine. Yeah, we don't want 9 times 2, because as soon as we get into 18, we're then... Our numbers are going to get huge, and they won't be able to keep up, so... In 9 times 1, we have 9. And I'm putting in the 9 here, so that's outside. I feel like the 1 only wants to be multiplied once as well, because that'll make numbers really low. Um... Then I guess... Where else would I... I guess 9 could also be multiplied by 2. I, I wouldn't go any higher than that. Like, 18 then can be times by, like, 3 or 4. If we go up to, like, 5, you're then at 19. Really high number. I to be honest. I really have no idea how you're supposed to figure out what this number you're supposed to get to. I wonder if that's a good way of mathematically. I mean, the slot in here is probably also a big number. Yeah, and you're only able to use numbers once, which is kind of difficult. I'm gonna shove 8 in there. 8 times 9 is 72. 
times one is 72. So, I feel like we don't want to, yeah, it's a common divisor, but it being a three divisor makes it difficult. Um, make a wild punt. Let's say 72 here. I, I, I feel like that's really close. I want something high because we need three numbers to multiply it into, but I feel like if we go like into hundreds or too far, you know? Um, eight times what can make it into something that's 72 divided by? Seventy-two itself divided by eight. Yes, right. I mean into nine, right? So uh, it becomes nine, and then we can't actually get nine because that's three times three. We can only use one three. Okay. How about I swap? Swap those two. 72 divided by 9 equals uh, 8, and we can make 8 with a 2 and a 4. I think that's how you do it, yeah. So so I have this number, and then if I divide it by the number already here, I then get a smaller number, which I have to figure out which two numbers make that. Um, so I do the 4 and the 2. 72 divided by 4 is... Uh, not maths. It definitely does. I just count maths. Um, 18? 18, right? Can I make 18 from these numbers? No. No, I can't. Okay. Okay, can't make 18. That's fair. Alright, so 72 divided by 2 is 36. Can I make 36 with the numbers I've got remaining? Uh, that's... Wait, I can buy four? Wait. Oh, you're right, it's multiplying. I'm very good at this. Three times six. You're right. 18 is three times six. I wasn't seeing the three there. Um... Yeah, because I can't make 36 of those numbers, so it would have to be the 4, actually. It would be 6 times 6. Or 9, which I don't have anymore. That's right. That right. <laughs> have I figured this out? I don't know. Uh, okay. How does this sound? Beautiful. Apprentice saves the I'm day. glad I figured out one and nine was must be a thing. Oh, I guess two and nine was also a thing. Seventeen. How are you supposed to figure out it's seventy-two apart from just like guessing like I did? The nine didn't have to be in the puzzle. Like, if the 9 wasn't in there, you know, I just took a punt. <laughs> as far as my attention, uh-oh. I, I don't have any of that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! 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 Oh shit. Alright, four balls on the edge of a cliff. Um. E. G. Willikers, alright. Oh god, um. Um... 
I'm still stuck. Okay, well, I got the... Okay, okay. Okay, <sighs> okay I got one. Sissy there. <laughs> uh, I got one. This is hard. Um... Jesus. All right. Two. Uh. All the way down we go. Once more into the breach. Damn close, let me in! I feel like as annoying this is this, I kind of have to, uh...
here this time. Revenge of the Slider Puzzle, indeed. God, I just got in the blue unstuck now, probably. <laughs> And I fucked it. I might have to reload that save state. Just don't know anymore. I completely screwed this puzzle up. Back here again. Ooh. Oh god. My score count is massive. Ah! I got the blue and the wrong one. Not any use to me.
Oh, I am just so bad at this. I got them back in the wrong holes. Alright. Yeah, like, keeping track of my moves is kind of evil. Um... Oh, thank Christ. I think I've got Whew. Professor, I, I was finally able to get the yellow and the blue to switch over. And it's gonna tell me how many moves I could have done this then and I'm gonna yell. 28! Fuck you! Fuck you, game. Fuck you. I did it in 620. Screw you, game. 28 moves. Terrible Yelp review coming. Alright, okay. That's, uh... Wow, oh god. Are we 40 minutes... Shit, we're 40 minutes into stream? I want to be so long! Alright. Uh, let's jump back into the real game. <laughs> Leap back in. Alright, so we got into the tower, we got the key, got in, we found out that uh, the village are robots, we found out that the cop um, is really evil McEvil man. And we started climbing the tower, but I'm actually gonna leave, because something I, I, I looked it up, and there is one puzzle I missed that gives me the last remaining in uh, item. And I know where the puzzle is, I did not look up the solution or the in-puzzle uh, solution. I just, um, looked up where the puzzle was. Uh, I'm Archibald's house, but I'm not sure how to get there. Do I, do I talk to him? Will he take me to his house? That's Giuseppe. Um, where is Archibald's house? That's the cafe. I can't remember which one was Archibald. Um, this one? Yes, okay, this is Archibald's house. Um, he has a puzzle for us, I think? There we go. So, I missed this puzzle, and this puzzle has the, um, the last remaining in item in the game that I'm missing. Behold, before you sits the laziest man in the entire world. Famous for his aversion at physical activity, this slug has designed his house so that he can grab anything without leaving the comfort of his armchair. He's an elaborate set of tools, including a fishing rod, an extendo arm, and high energy magnets. This legendary loafer has put everything in the room within reach. However, despite his efforts, there's one place he can't reach without getting up. I. Uh... I, I assume the one place he cannot reach without getting up um, is his is his chair. It's his chair on this butt. Like, he cannot like reach like. Oh, I have to drag the circle. Um, will, will here do? I'm, I'm trying to think. Like it's like. He'll have to get up if he wants to get anything under his ass, so... 
Hopefully this is a circle that's good enough, right? Luke, here's my answer. Yeah, it was. Every puzzle has an answer. Right under his ass. True, there's no way in front of him to reach under his chair without getting off his rear end. There's some meat under there with some cheeses. Alright, so this should be the last in I um geek table. Alright, let's see if I can figure out this. Yes, he's gonna want a teak table for um his team. shuffle around. He does like a bookshelf, I guess. Um, what this? Flowers. Oh, looks at full happy. Oh, oh, excellent. Okay. Thanks for. I, I actually did not notice that. Um. So that means he has everything he likes, but he has some extra stuff. Um. So what does he have that's extra? I guess. Um. He only wants a tally. Um. He likes. The there. He likes the chair, I like the desk, he likes the rug, he likes the bed. I know he likes the world map and... Oh, I mean, it's not... Okay, yes, yes. The world map is what he loves, okay. Um... Uh, wall clock? Ooh, hello! There we go. Yep, so we've unlocked some more bonus puzzles. There we go. Decorator's house has been added. Great. Right. Solved five of the mysteries now. We still have a few remaining. Including the, the titular mystery, the, the uh, golden apple. Alright, let's go back to the tower and start climbing it again. Yeah, sometimes puzzles are really easy. Um, you're like, oh god, this is complicated. There's so many things. It's like, no, no. You just have to. It's like lateral thinking puzzles. Uh, my mom loves lateral thinking puzzles. She used to like get books of them um, and do them with us. So we're pretty good. Okay. Um. I got the things in this room. There was an ex the guy here. We're just heading up into the next room. Oh, oh hello. Thanks, Pop. Okay, next puzzle. Let's go. And it's true, Luke doesn't need a wall clock. Those those are for old people. People now like kids now look at their phones, you know. How did Simon? Ah. Yeah, Simon was the one who died, although I guess he's not dead because he was a robot. Maiden's escape. Hello. Oh no! Damn it. Uh, the maiden has been captured by a wicked wizard and is trying to escape his castle. Armed guards, however, are blocking her path. Slide the blocks out of the way to move the red one out of the exit to the right. Freedom depends on you. Can you do it? No. Like, abs absolutely not. Alright. Um, can I move them? Okay, I can't move them out. Eight. 
And maybe it's been captured. She's also a red cube. stuck here. Uh... How do I get this one down into the bottom? Uh... I don't mind you anyway. I'm making this far more complicated than it needs to be, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm convinced this is witchcraft. I'm backward. I think I'm just doing this like the opposite side now. Clearly very good at this. Can't even get back to the state I was in before. I just keep messing this up more and more. Ah! Alright, let's try this again. Um... This one's gotta be, like, you know, up the top, up the bottom, because otherwise it blocks them. I can't like move over just now because
have to deal with two gaps together. Had a little progress there, but not enough. I guess I didn't drag it far enough over. Okay. Another puzzle solved. Oh Jesus! All right, how many moves could that have been done in? <laughs> Wonderful! This is a classic example of a slide puzzle. <laughs> game's just mocking me at this point. I've been terrible at sliding puzzles. Yeah, what about Simon? Don Pala really do I them? Absolute banger of a slide puzzle, eh? Don Palo, yep, came across Simon. Aha, yes, yeah, so Simon like broke down as a robot, I'm guessing. <laughs> That's a very good expression. And then uh, John Paolo stole the body and the janitor is very mad because uh, he can't fix him. Because Latin games all have a really bizarre twist, and then they also like explain all their mysteries at the end. You know, the whole murder story on the spot, he sure did. Keep on explaining the rest as we go. So, Alright, we should have two new stamps now. We've almost solved all the mysteries of the town. Yep, so loud noise is the word the machines brutally used to repair the robots to save the stairs. It's been several years since the creation. Maintenance becomes necessary more frequently as machines age, hence the reports of increased noise at night from villagers. You know, games exist in a very batshit world, and also, uh, by correlation, Phoenix Wright also exists in the same batshit world. As a robot was seven years and then it was only natural that Ramon would break down sooner or later. He was quickly taken in for repair, then promptly returned to the village, blissfully unaware that he'd just undergone a tune up. We only have three mysteries left, although we can probably maybe guess Lady Dahlia's now. Um, we've had a real bunch of clues. I mean, the whole town is robots. 
Um, the Baron's daughter doesn't li didn't like the new wife. She really resembles the old wife. I think most people in chat could kind of figure out what her deal is, but the game will tell us. There's also a noise at the manor refreshment, and of course the golden apple we still have to find. Yeah, what could the strange doppelganger for the Baron's dead wife be? I also love that y you, uh, in these rooms. Like they're bursting out of the inn now, which is kind of adorable. Alright, we got the hint coin. Let's move on forward. What are you doing in here, miss? You are uh, right outside. It's a bit strange that you're in here now. Got to be a hint coin. Oh, somewhere. There we go. The Lion games are slightly scooby doo though, in that there's usually, like, oh, there's a supernatural element, and then it turns out it isn't really a supernatural element. That's a big plot twist in most of the Lion games. scooby doo ripping off the mask, you know? I would love to do your puzzle. Yeah, how did she get up here? <laughs> Lion's like, don't worry about it. From us, like, solving mysteries, we really should have, uh, the mystery machine and a dog. Alright, card order. Ooh, interesting. Okay. You've placed one joker and four aces with different suits face down on the table. Use the hints below to determine the position of each card. Haha, -ha, I love these kinds of puzzles. Do I get? Yeah, I don't get to write on here, which is a shame. I'm just gonna have to write down on my bit of paper. Bob is to the right of the heart. Okay. Yeah. And draw a club. Yeah, actually, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, that slope definitely looks Super Mario 64. You're gonna slide down. Neither the diamond nor the joker is next to the spade. Um, so that means the spade has to be on the ends um on one of the ends and it's next to either the heart or the club because the heart and the club are next to each other uh new little joker no the diamond is next to the club okay so that makes it yeah so the spade is next to the club Neither the diamond nor the spade. I was like, the joker and the diamond, right? Not, uh, neither the diamond nor the spade is next to the heart. So it has to be the joker next to the heart and then the diamond next to the joker. The order has to be this, this, heart, club. Let's do this. The, cl the club is to the right of the heart. Uh, Neil the Joker, the diamond nor the Joker is next to the spade. Neil the Joker nor the diamond is next to the club. Uh, Neil the diamond nor the spade is next to the heart. So I believe this is the only way uh, this works. That should do it. You're right. I do have the Layton Mobile and a robot dog. You're right. This is the Scooby Gang. I mean, that one's actually really easy. You gave me so many clues. That one didn't have any ambiguity to it, honestly. That was a logic puzzle. I like logic puzzles a lot. I used to play... I used to play a lot of entertainment games um, back when I was a kid. Uh, Dr. Brain, like Zumbinis. I have a pretty big fondness for entertainment games, and a lot of them had logic puzzles in them. fun. Alright. Onwards. Outside. The one hint coin, are there any more? That's all a puzzle. Puzzle 99. Alright, here we go. Look, my boy, haven't you learned? I 
I solve puzzles. Okay, there are puzzles without answers. They're just bad puzzles. Ooh. Use each of the numbers 1 to 9 exactly. Fill in the blanks and complete this equation. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Five digit minus four digits. So it has to be either a three or a four. It's very likely it's a four in here. Because you can only, this could be like a max of, of 9,800 and then 70. It's not this, but this is the max it could be. So, I know that one. Um. This has to equal three, so this needs a difference of three, so it's either like, it can be like a lot though, it could be like five and two, um, six and three, eight and five, or nine and six. There's quite a few options there. Get 40,000 down, like... 7,000 odd. Probably some more math principles I'm not very good at here. Um, they kind of all have to be three apart, but they can be three apart in different ways. Um, like, you know, this minus a nine would also, like, get us to it. I guess I can or fart about with that. Um... I need a calculator. Has anyone got a calculator? I can't actually figure out if that's right. I think so. Maybe. My phone. I just, I, I need a scientific calculator in me at all times. Oh god, I haven't used a scientific calculator. Yep, okay, that's correct. Burn up my phone at least, if my phone is wrong. That should do it. Okay, you basically have to find all the minus Every threes. Every puzzle has an answer. I'm sure the correct configuration is just rearranging some of the numbers I had. The one and the seven and the two and the nine likely had to be in the same spot. It's probably just rearranging the six and the three and the eight and the five. Ah, yes, here we go. We're explaining this mystery, the one I was talking about, Lady Dahlia. Um, so, yes, I think we've all guessed that Lady Dahlia is a robot of the Baron's former wife who died. Um... Yes, Lady Dahlia is a robot built to resemble Lady Viola, and the Baron's daughter never really took to that, yes. The next century talked about how Flora didn't like... Um, like her, yeah. And yes, it looks like the Baron changed um, his robot wife's personality because he couldn't have a robot that was exactly like her. It was too much for him. Are robots alive? Probably, I don't know. Yeah, robots can feel. They can create masterpieces. 
Ah, it's nice. Lick hopes that the robots are people. So yes, Lady Dahlia also a robot. Alright, let's go ahead and save. We're coming very close to the end of the game. I don't know, do robots dream of electric sheep? I guess we'll find out. And here we go. Earth. Hey, Pup. Thanks, Pup. There it is. Yeah, it does seem like there's only like one hint card in all these areas. At least I've only found one. Alright, here we go. Puzzle number 100. Another puzzle in the way. Who could have seen this coming? Puzzle 100, seven squares. Yeah, these robots all dream of puzzles. Oh, shit. Uh, your task is to draw lines between the pins on the board to form seven squares. Seven squares do not have to be uniform in size, but you want to use one each pin once. Oh, boy. And it looks like I've got different colors. Okay. So, yeah, I have to- I wonder if I can, like, can do- I do, like, a square here, and then, like, that count? I think that's using the pin, right? So it doesn't? can't tell if this is a square. Um... That's a square, right? Ground's kind of cool. Let me lose. The other thing is, uh, how many pins do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seventeen, eighteen, nine. 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28. We need, uh... Yeah. So we have to, there are 28 pins and 7 squares. Um, uh, means that we have just enough pins for squares. Good though. I think that's all of them. They're all squares, right? Hopefully, those are all squares. Uh, one, all the pins are used. One, two, seven. They all look square ish. Here's my answer. Yeah, so like, a lot of like latent puzzles have like kind of intuitive puzzles where you just kind of have to start drawing, um, and and see where it takes you. Yeah, this tower is absolutely massive, yet it's completely empty. Ah, are we finding out about that noise? The other mystery. Why would anyone make this place, Professor? It's dumb! It's exhausting! I hate it! There are too many stairs! Uh, that seems unlikely. This place is extremely old. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, whenever you start seeing splashes, like, wow, cool puzzle, huh? Uh, yeah. You're in the part of the game where if you see the answer, you're good. If you don't see the answer, well... Never mind. Don't worry about it. Alright. Oh, hello. No puzzles. Climb the staircase. I'm, I'm glad the professor and Luke are getting their cardio workout in. Alright, up we go. Hello. On. Possibly, who knows? Let's move on. Oh my gosh. Ooh, hello. It's a house. Why is there a house on top of this tower? That's a really weird place to, to build a house. Someone live here? Oh my god, do they have an elevator? Chapter 9 over, hello. They must have an elevator, right? They would be exhausted coming up and down those stairs, like... Every day. Thanks, Pop. Don't like there's anything else. Let's go in and see who lives. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. I guess this is the point of, uh, no return. Um, so we'll get the ending. Okay. I think I'm missing a puzzle. We'll, we'll see after I uh, beat the game. This is where the golden apple is. Hell yeah, I want that golden apple. Oh, hello. It, it's you! see here is the golden apple herself. The golden apple is the Baron's daughter. Hello! I mean, yeah, the professor knows all, Luke. Hmm? You wanted to find a guardian. Hello, Luke! Now you're gonna look after this young lass who's probably a little bit older than you. Don't you worry about it. No, we saw her out and about in the town, Luke. Come on. who can solve puzzles is really trustworthy. You heard it here first, folks. Uh-oh. What's going on? Hmm? Oh! Ah! <laughs> I love this theme, by the way. It turns out you don't need to climb the tower if you have a helicopter. Ready or not! Ah, follow me! Come now. It is a wrecking ball helicopter. Alright, follow me. Let's run. We run, Luke. We run. We jump off the tower. It'll be fun. Don't worry about it. This is a 
brilliant idea, Escape. I don't know why you think this is a bad idea. We're gonna jump! Jump, 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 jump! I don't think you realize that Professor Lane isn't just a professor of puzzology. He's MacGyver. You adore this theme. Buddy. Hold tight. We saved the girl. Woo! All those robots, uh, they're going to die now, though. Oops. Birthmark. Yeah, is there a doctor bot in the house? In the town? Look at Skip Tower. He's a good boy. He can run fast. Hmm. That awful noise. Ah, yes. That was the helicopter. Mm-hmm. And the last remaining mysteries. It wouldn't be good if we didn't solve that last mystery. Yeah? There was no treasure. Oh, okay, there is a treasure, but, uh... Alright, Flora, lead us to the treasure, girl. Professor Layton's getting paid today. Yeah, sure, why not? Was. No treasure was inside us all along. All right, go in the passage. Hey, Sam, we're not going to do all this and not get paid. Oh shit! That's wow. Wow, that's uh oh that's uh that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Hmm, Professor Layton's getting rich. Ah, the mark only appears when she's that's a weird kind of mark. Make his daughter laugh, tickle her feet a little bit. 
Aww. Right? No one gets this rich. Like, the Baron was a dick. The Baron got this rich. He absolutely... ...was awful. Like, there's no way you get this much money from being good. Oh no, there's gonna be a- uh, is there a robot- robot dad? She gonna get a robot dad as well as a robot mom? I'm not sure a town full of robots would make her less lonely, especially if you had her stuck in a tower. Kinda seems like a recipe for loneliness. Yeah, how much does Fortran mean exploiting Bruno and his talents, you know? We already know St. Mister's secret. Everyone's a robot. Good god, y'all. The outside world is not that scary. You could have used your money to do literally anything else, and you built a town with robots in it. I mean, I guess that's how rich people think, right? Could have set her up with a trust fund. Could have set her up with, like, for life. Uh, found someone he trusted, and, and... Like, why didn't he give her a Bruno? Yeah, they're, they're explaining why this town has people who give you puzzles, but then there's there's later late in games where the people are just people and they just give you puzzles, so... As much as like, oh, that makes sense why everyone is just a puzzler. No, everyone in this world just gives you puzzles. The robots are just like normal people. They just give you puzzles. And yes, all the robots are gonna die, I guess. That, that seems kind of mean. If we take the treasure, all the all the robots here will will die. And Luke's like, no, they're people. Yeah, that seems mean. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm with Luke. That seems very mean. No, it, it's like uh, the Cave of Wonders. If we touch that gem, it will all collapse in on itself. Well, no money for us. This gold is extremely fucking cursed right here. Clayton's like, why not? It's gold. It's gold. Why, why wouldn't you take it, girl? Come on, take the gold. All right, we'll just leave this town full of robots here. Nope, Flora wants to leave. Just to come with us now. We did it. We solved all the mysteries. In her teeny tiny car. By then, little village. Bye. Not so little a village, honestly. That's a pretty big village, right there. Oh, what an astonishing village that was, Professor. Does this mean you'll be gracing the front pages of the London papers again sometime soon? No, look. Saint Mustel's secret must stay between us. Huh? Why do you say that? You see, my dear boy, we don't want people to make a spectacle of Flora. 
That wouldn't be right. Of course. Always thinking of others. <laughs> well, one must always put a lady's needs first. That's what a gentleman does. <laughs> The end. Coos. Who's looking after those coos? Yeah, a town where you can make humanoid robots would definitely make a lot of money. Just bring Bruno along and we'll make a ton of money. Alright, credit roll. So we're not quite done streaming. I mean, we have bonus puzzles to do, and I think based on, I think I've had 125. I think there's one puzzle in the town I didn't get. the money then all the people in the village would die. I don't know how the Baron rigged taking the treasure to killing all the robots in the town but you gotta take this man at face value you know. He did make a town full of robots. We didn't get any money but we ran away with a girl. Oh yes the ferris wheel chasing us was pretty good. My favorite scenes in the whole Layton series is uh, Layton and Luke run away from the Ferris wheel. Luke, like, hey, the Ferris wheel is chasing us, and Layton's like, no, fuck you, you idiot. And he's like, oh god, it is chasing us. Layton's expression is very good there. Mm -hmm. Look at that tunnel being like, I don't wanna go in there. What if I get my coat dirty? I'm sure this is the last we will ever see of Don Paolo. I'm sure he will never turn up in another Layton game ever again. Darn, we weren't allowed to claim any of her inheritance to use for taking camera under threat of killing her friends. It's fine. Ah, he's he, okay. I thought with the tower being destroyed, he wouldn't be able to repair anyone, but I guess the cellar's still intact, so he's able to repair Simon. The village lives on after all. Bruno has to live alone amongst a bunch of robots. It's slightly horrifying, yes. Look, look, stop it. First thing a police officer is a crime. Wait, are Matthew and the old lady robots as well? They were in the old photo with the baby Flora, right? Uh oh. <laughs> Layton's goddamn face. Oh shit. I'm a gentleman, I have to eat that. Oh no. Bad animals, side UK. Mr. Explorer dude, still very lost. Well, bad animals might be rats. Who knows? I love rats though. They're not bad animals, they're good animals. Ooh, he's looking a bit shifty. Was he a robot? Who knows? I 
guess I should have looked at all the portraits and seen who was and wasn't a robot. Mr. Explorer Man's not a robot. He got lost in the town. Developed by level 5. Level 5 is probably... Um, level 5 developing this is probably one of the big reasons I got it. Um, I buy just about anything level 5 puts out. The end. To be continued? It's definitely not I'm gonna cause problems on purpose, face. Then the carry is far from over. How many puzzles did you solve? 120 are hidden. Why not try to complete every puzzle? I'm sure I missed one. Didn't play at the top of the tower. Yeah, I missed one. I have a little gold thanks to say we uh, beat the game. I'm gonna jump in and see... I need to see my um, puzzle thing. I'm, I'm quite impressed I only managed to... I actually missed two because I had to look up the Archibald one, but... Uh, I'm impressed I only missed two. I've seen all this before. When the Jerry Pan finally found the treasure, they seek high. Alright, let me have a look at my puzzle index. Not if you see a number and I don't see what I missed. It. I have all the. Yeah, so these ones are the bonus ones. So it's 120 and below. I, mean, I guess it was a person one I missed. 92! Okay, I missed 92. sewers apparently yeah all the later games have like final boss puzzles whereas uh, yeah this one ends like you do the puzzles all the way up the tower and then it ends with uh, a long scene i wonder if i can just skip this by like doing the go back to the town thing down the tower we go Go to the sewer. Uh, I've got a ways to walk. Yeah, I only missed two, so um, it being 92, it was just this chapter as well. Um, I did miss like three puzzles in one of the chapters and got them in Granny Riddleton's, but that in itself is not like terrible. Like I say, no, we're right at the top. No, no, we're going back up. All right, so he apparently has another puzzle for us. He left, and then he must have come back here, and now he has a puzzle for us. Yeah, it must have been, like, after we went to the tower and came back, he had a puzzle. So there are some puzzles that are like that. You need to wash your face, but all 13 water valves in the pipes are shut tight. You must open the valves to get water flowing to your sink. Closed valves are marked A... Open valves B. Here's your challenge. Direct the water all the way to tap by opening as few valves as possible. Interesting. Um, okay. Well, if we go this way, we have to go through two. Oh. So... Let's try by opening this one. on this damn I wish I could because then I would draw where all the water was. Go up to there. Yeah, that like bypasses like two, so that's definitely the way it do. Goes up to here and here. Also up into here. Ah, these two end up the same bit, so I don't need to touch that one. Don't want to touch that one.
next to you? I think it's these two. That takes the water up, out here, along here, down here. I think it's these two. I think I've got it! Professor, I've solved it! every puzzle in the game? Well, every one in the main game, so... I'll go ahead and save. A safe state, and then I reset the game. Should have the rest of the bonus puzzles today. Top secret? Top secret? What? Hell yeah! Unabashed puzzle fanatic. Partial latent skill for cracking the toughest riddles has put his name in the papers many times. His trademark top hat fits him so well he'd swear it's part of his body. How do you know it's not part of his body? Luke, as a self-proclaimed apprentice of Professor Layton, Luke follows his teacher everywhere, but he still has much to learn before he can be called a puzzle master. Yeah, he's Herschel Layton. That's his full name. Besides puzzle, Luke is also a huge animal lover. And we have Flora at the end, the only daughter of a vastly wealthy family. Flora is the mysterious girl who ran around the village. She lost her mother as a small child and was raised by her father, Baron Augustus Reinhold. Also the Layton mobile! Sports an unusually high ceiling unless the professor takes it over and removes his top hat. Vegas said that as kind of a joke. Uh, no, it's true. He he made a taller car, um, so that he could, well, yeah, so he could have his hat on in the car. <laughs> Thanks, his careful maintenance. The car is always in tip top. It's a bunch of character profiles. There's some art, but this is basically a lot of the art that was in the game, the CGs and stuff. Listen to music. I do love the Layton theme very much. Luke, my boy. Do you really think I would take on such an ordinary request as that? I don't understand, Professor. Why are we going to help solve an inheritance dispute? You want to just listen to Luke's dulcet tones? This is all so exciting! Yeah, <laughs> okay, Stone Pilot's Evil Accordions, also very good. So would that be, um... Yes, that one! Very good. God, I like that theme too. It's very good. Very clown. What's the hidden door? Into the passage you can find in the sequel to this game. What? I might have to look online to find that. Alright, let's go back to the puzzles. Um, so we haven't unlocked this yet. So let's go to the decorator's house. We've got six more puzzles to do here. Well, nine in total, but let's start with the rope ladder. So someone can maybe look up the puzzle, the password for me, or I'll do it at the end. All right, here we go. Oh, you can't look online since so it's generated based on the cart Pinterest thing. Fair enough. I know I did it because I have both carts, obviously, so... A rope ladder hangs from the side of a boat floating in the ocean, with the water coming up to the ninth rung. The ocean is calm with almost no waves. The water rises by 40 centimeters every hour, and the rungs of the ladder are 30 centimeters apart. Which rung will the water level be at in three hours? Ninth one. Ninth one. And. 
Rise by 40 centimeters every hour. Another weird one. Um. Three hours is up by 120. 30 apart. seem right, right? Um... Okay, where's the trick here? Um... Is the trick that even if the water rises, the boat rises too? It'll always be at the ninth one? Is that the... Is that the trick? If we got off to the fifth rung, then, like, the boat would be underwater, right? So, so is it just... Is it just nine? I go. I did it. There's no way it could actually be maths. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, game. Should we caught out by ancient riddles like this one? Fuck you. Yeah, the hidden door has concept art behind it. Um, I don't think I'll be able to show it if it's like based on DS. All right, rolling the die. I will give this puzzle my best try. Hell yeah, I will. And a rising tide lifts all ladders. The young boy sits quietly rolling a single die over and over again. Each time the die stops rolling, he picks it up, examines it, and whispers something to himself. Each time he rolls a one, he whispers fifteen. Each time he gets a six, he whispers twelve. Oh, he's actually rolling a uh, he's actually rolling a D and D dice. He's actually rolling twenty. Boy has just rolled a three. What number will he whisper this time? Yeah, but I do actually have the ROM for basically all the latent games from now on, so... Dark Box ROM should work, maybe? I guess I'll, what I'll do is I'll figure that out once I, uh... play Dying Walker Box. Um... Although I actually think it's called... Dying Walker Box one of those ones that's named differently in the, uh... In the US. There's a bunch of them that are named differently. Anyway, let me figure out this puzzle. I don't know. Uh, 15, 20... Uh, so one and six, fifteen and twenty. Uh, might just be seventeen. Like one is fifteen, two would be sixteen, three is seventeen, four is eighteen, five would be nineteen, and six twenty. Is it just seventeen? Pandora's box. Yes, you're right. It's called Pandora's box. Like a lot of lane games are named differently. Um, I'm actually just gonna. I actually looked them up. I got all the UK versions. Where'd I put them? Um... Pandora's Box, The Last Future, and Spectre's Call. Um, I have those ones. The, the DS ones only, I don't have the 3DS ones. So yeah, those are the um, names in Europe. Curious Village is the same. But I think uh, most of the rest are different. Anyway, I think this answer is, uh, 17. Probably more difficult than that, but fuck it. I think I got it! I did it! Ah, the boy is counting the number of dots currently visible on the die. See, only face of the die not included as count as the one that faces down. Okay, that's a lot more complicated, and yet I still got the same answer just by, like, D 
doing 1 to 6 and then 20 down to 15. There you go. I got it much easier than the actual answer, it's fine. Alright, red and blue. Oh, this was the, um... This was the, um, uh, patterny. Oh god, oh no. Uh, okay, I have to move them from the red to the blue in the, oh, in the right order. Oh, shit. Um. Alright. Fine. I, I can do this. This probably just makes my life easier. Um... them in like the wrong place initially so I can where it's gonna start sucking, huh? on the other side. Ah, oh, my brain. I mean, that's it, right. I can do this, it's fine. I just had a bit of a brain fart there. Alright. How does this sound? There we go. Lightning's apprentice saves the day. Great job! Woo! Kill me. We did it. Alright, golden apple. Yeah, we've hit way worse sliders. Too many queens five. Ooh. I'm very good at this one. I solve this one in like under a minute. Let's find out. I'm very good at this one. All right, the big one. Let's do it. Here. Yeah. 
Can I go here, I think? Here or here, um, and then start the process. different rows and different columns, so that's sort of for all the diagonals. Yep, so basically the really easy way to do this is do it as night movement. You know, one over, two down, one over, two down, one over, two down, and then here you have to reset because otherwise it would go there. Um, I think it would work here as well, um, but here works fine, just fine. And then again, you know, one over, two down, one over, two down, one over, two down. I think that's good. I think I got yeah, the honestly, these uh, queen uh, chess puzzles are really easy for me. I don't know how I know it's night movement, but I I, I just know. Um, ninety-two answers to this puzzle. Yeah, if you consider rotations and marriage solutions as separate answers, without any of the above factors, there are only twelve. Interesting. If you're a lighter, let's go. Five puzzles remain. I actually don't know how to unlock the other three. I think the others we unlock once we do these ones, but I don't know for sure. Ooh, hello. Below are 12 weights that are visually identical to one another. Among these is a single weight that has a different weight from the others. The problem is you don't know whether this weight is heavier or lighter. Use the scales exactly three times to determine which weight is different from the others. This puzzle sucks. Ah, uh, complete ass. Let me see. Um, you want to say a pound of steel or a pound of feathers? Um, I don't know whether that weight is heavier or lighter, which is definitely a problem. Um, Okay, shit. So, um, 9, 10, 11, 12 are all the same way, and it's either 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, from here, what do I do then? Um... I think we then have to... Use the weights, we all know are the same something. Oh yes, by the way, I looked up there are 200 hint coins in the game and I got 186. But I missed 14, which is actually not that bad. Um, but yeah, even being diligent, you will miss a bunch of hint coins just because they're everywhere. Anyway, um, I think from there... This is when shit gets It's one of those ones where I, um... I 
do that, I find out which one at least has it, but then I only have one... One weighing scale to figure out, so I think it's time to slightly modify this. Um... I do this and this one has the um hard way thing for the I know this is the first step. Uh I know that you put four in each one. Wish I knew if it was heavier or lighter. Uh I think I'm gonna do this. Let me like just like Yeah. So I know it's like one of these four. Um but the problem is with that is like trying to figure out which one it is. Then gets really awkward. Let me just put these all these up here. Now I have four. Yeah, it's just like wild. I don't remember it. Like if I do that, then you know it could be any one of these. If you don't know if it's heavier or lighter. Um, okay. You know this is the first step. Okay, I have to do something. You know what? I haven't actually used the hints at all. Um, when I collected enough coins, I got the crown. So, who wants to see me uh, use some hint coins? Woo! Let's see if this helps. Alright, no definitive way to solve this puzzle. It's best to start by putting four weight. Yep, okay, yep, I knew about that. Scale tips to one direction. You know that four weights off the scale don't contain the weight you're looking for. If it stays level, you know that one of the four weights you didn't load on the scale is the irregular weight. So we know the four aren't on it. From there, the scale tips if you weigh eight weights in the fast turn, hit one. Take one set of weights off the scale. Do the other four where they are. Put the unweighed scales back on the empty side. Okay, I did do that, but that didn't seem to really lead me to the solution, you know? Um... Scale doesn't tip after your second weighing experiment too. You know the odd weight is somewhere within the four weights you took off the scale. Yes, obviously. Scale tips in the same direction for you. You know the irregular weight is somewhere within the four weights you kept on the scale. If it tips in the opposite direction than the four, the weight you see... Cannot... I know, but what do I do from there, game? Oh my god, how useless were these hints. Oh my god. How useless are these hints? Wow. That, yeah, they're... This is wrong, because there's no way this is the way to do it. This is not the way to do it. I mean, it's the way I did it, but it's completely... I know it's wrong. I know because it doesn't narrow down our choices.
Okay, it's the same, so it's one of these four. Oh, wait. Take one side of the weights off, keep the other four where they are, put four unweighted weights on the empty side. It doesn't tip off your second wing. As you know, it's within the four. You camped on the scale. If it tips in the opposite direction, when you seek is one of the four you loaded on the scale. Yeah, okay, no, yeah. Okay, so this is like this, like like before it was in one of these, but here it's in one of these, but that doesn't help me narrow it down to figuring it out in one. Um, although this helps me out, actually, because this means that one of the four is... Let me Uh, one of the four is heavier. Oh, I have to, yeah. Okay, so that actually helps. I should have kept note last time of which way it tipped and then which way it went back. So we know that the bad weight is heavier. So from there, how do we figure out which one's the bad one? I know you have to take one off the scale, because then if it doesn't tip, it's this one. Um, how do I then figure out... ...from here? Let me know, because I'm not entirely sure where I go from here. I know these are all the same weight now. Problem with this is what I, if what I did earlier, um... If this one's heavier, it'll go down. If this one's heavier, um, it'll, they'll go equal. But if one of these two is heavier, then this weight will stay where it is. But I can't. I have no way of knowing which. Um, that is the problem with having four things left, and I have to weigh. Ideally, you would want one on each, um, and then one off. So honestly, I, I'm pretty sure, like, the way you're supposed to do this is actually way more complicated than the 4x4. Like, this only works if we happen to the three, like, this is a 50-50 shot of the three and the four being the heavier ones so we get the right answer. Um... I'm pretty sure there's a, system, there's a better way where you end up with just three scales. Like the last, the, the easier part of this puzzle, you ended up with three left. Um, but yeah, unless I get lucky here. Oh, yep. See, I got unlucky. It's one of these two. And I have no way of knowing which. Um, I'm sure there's a way you do this that starts off with this. Or I just keep doing it until it guesses right. Oh. Ooh, okay. That actually helps me out. That's actually, like, really good, because it means it's within these four. Um... Oh, did you figure it out? Though I still don't know heavier or lighter. Um, I think if I put... I'm trying to do it systematically with letters. Um, I think if I do this now, it's three and three. So if the, if the lighter or heavier one's in here, it will go up or down. If it's this one, it will stay... Um, and then if it's one of these three, I can then figure it out, um, by using the left, the right, and the off scale. So 
Alright, it's 12 then. Alright, I'll just, uh... There, there must be a way better way to do that than, um... Open to get it right. I think I've got it! I did not get that in the way you're supposed to I get it. it. Yeah, there, there must be a way to, um... If you're lucky, it's possible to find the answer without too much work. I mean, there, there's there's a systematic way that you can get it no matter which configuration you get. Um, but it's not putting four and four on the weights the second time around. I know it's not that. I know it's way more complicated than that. But anyway, oh god, no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no, this is another sliding one, isn't it? Oh no. No! <gasps> yeah, the key is that when you weigh number two, you have to eliminate an extra one, yes. Oh shit. Oh, Wise of Dog, thank you so much for the host as I enter hell. I'm in hell. Oh no. Yeah, for the previous puzzle, you definitely have to get it to a part where you only have, uh, three left for the final way in. Don't think this helps me, but... You were uh, green bites, and it was, it was hard in the first place, so I'm, I'm doing well. to weigh three against three instead of four against four and step two. Unfortunately, it's not maths. This would be fine if it was maths. Uh-huh, I can do maths. <laughs> sort of. Um... Hmm. 
I'm not very good at sliding puzzles. I hate how awkward that one is. Alright, there we go. Uh, I actually got that much easier and then I got the first one, which was actually easier. Um, done. Sorry, I didn't speak very much during that. I had to, like, focus my brain. Um, yeah, the princess should totally just crash. <laughs> Classic example of a slight puzzle. Yes, there we go. So, correct. If I do all 132, I then get access to the last three puzzles of the game. Alright. Yeah, I, I eventually got that princess one because I realized that I had to get the blocks in behind. And I had to get the green blocks up, so I had to get the second lot of green blocks up. So, that, that was my thought process during that. Let's finish the equation. Now, see you, puzzle 135. I know, I know. I'm avoiding that. For now. Complete the equation by inserting the four number tiles into the correct slots. Okay. Uh, something minus something divided by something times by something equal. And this is, yes, this is the first lighting. I just finished it. In the game. One final block puzzle for the road. Yeah. Um, so it can't be the seven or eight in here because it has to be the four. Uh, we need to This got like 1.5. Ten's only divisible by 1, 10, 2, and 5. Um, but I guess if I get 2.5, that times by 4 and it'll take. Can I make 2.5? Find out. Fractions here, I think, because I don't think I can make two and a half. Either. Um, well, let me put some numbers in. Where I like uh, four, times by four would equal one times by again. Um, let me let me actually do this. Okay, so I have seven, four, and eight. Um. So, in order, 10 divided by 8. Uh, 
God, I cannot do fractions anymore in my head. It's not very good. Um, uh, one and one quarter. Is that right? I can't like write on here, which definitely says eight times a quarter is. Um. Seven. Oh, gee. Worse. Four is easier, it's two and a half. Three would be three and a third. Yeah, so it's bod mass. Um, if you've ever done mass, it's brackets, orders. Uh, division, multiplication are the same, and addition and subtraction. Priority. Go for operators. They all always confuse me. Anyway, um, yeah, so if I can get one, and I, I, I'm not, I'm eliminating seven because it's too complicated. Um, can I get one and a quarter? Um. So yeah, the division happens first. So this becomes a fraction. Um, yeah, if you put the seven here, that actually happens before the uh, minus. Is that right? If I want one and a quarter, three minus seven over four, which is one and three quarters. Uh, yeah, that equals one and one quarter times by eight. All right, uh, that should be correct. I only teach PEMDAS. It's bod mass in the UK. Why is it bod mass and PEMDAS? I don't know. What does the E stand for then? I'm pretty sure the O in bod mass is operators, which is like squares and all that sort of shit. I have to think in fractions to solve this one. Yeah, you do have to think in fractions a little bit. Ah. All right, land disputes, let's do it. I'm gonna completely complete this game. It might take me another half hour, but I'm doing it. Now, parentheses versus brackets. Parenthesis, exponent, multiply, divide, and subtract. Ah, yes, yeah, so we use O for operator instead of exponent, I think. For order, I actually can't remember exactly. I know it is, um... No, it's of? I guess it's of, I guess. No, there's someone says operations. Who knows? I don't even know. Oh, the operations are like all of them, I guess. I guess it's like to the power of, but you gotta say to the order of, I think. I know it's definitely, I know it's, um, exponent. I guess I thought exponents were too complicated. Anyway, back to puzzle one, three, four. Uh, four people are arguing with another, one another about how to divide up a large chunk of land they inherited. We want to divide things up nice and evenly. Each piece of property should have a well and a house and be exactly the same shape. Ooh. Can you divide the property up according to the wishes and end the bickering? Okay. So I know there has to be a line here. Between these two houses, so... Start. I need a well in each one. And all the land, I guess? hints in a previous puzzle and the hints were fucking useless so oh 
Oh, um, I also need to count. Um, yeah, not until I've had a good go at it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six by six, so that's 36, which is nine squares each. Okay. I can cope with that. Nine squares each. I have to try and remember that. So this one probably needs this well. Um, and yeah, there needs to be a line here. Because of the two wells. Uh, I need a shape that has that. If this... I also have this well, like, up there. It'll be really... Actually, it'd be really difficult. I think it has to be this well. Um, because it... it it, it can't really be this well. Um, like, this this outer shape doesn't really work. Um, and it would, it would have to be that. So if it went straight down here, it would cut off all these squares, so... <laughs> yeah, you forgot one well. There's four of them. And, like, uh, I was just saying, there has to be a line here and there has to be a line here. Like... It would have to be... That could do it, but god, that actually, I, I then don't think you can actually get a shape that would be the same. I'm gonna go with my, my well-honed instincts. Uh, lines. That. I then want, then I have like this shape. I do that. I uh, I could do that shape like that. Okay. How about this? Um. Then rotated. That's the shape. Okay. Uh, and then I've got, yep, but this, which goes in here. Okay. Are they all the same shape? We've all got a house in a while. I think they're all the same shape. It does look le equally inconvenient for everyone. Gerrymandering is a problem. Alright, Queen Notes here. Final puzzle of the game! Here we go, people! Queen's Escape. 99. Longing to see the sun of oh, Jesus. This queen is trying to slip out of her castle. Unattended armed guards are blocking her path. Slide the puzzles out of the way. Your freedom depends on you. Can you do it? I do this. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, I wish I knew where it began. Um...
No one has ever seen a sliding fuggle in real life. Wrong fate. Same problem. I, I have to move this out of the way. Just back in the beginning. So I don't do that yet. Um, let me get this out. I cannot separate the, um, green blocks, no. This for four. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I've gotten the, the purple block over one. They're staying here because it's a good place. Um... Thank you. 
them in behind me. I feel like this isn't wrong. Placing these with green ones feels feels right, um, because then I can get the green ones in behind. trapped a green block by itself which is not ideal That's like even worse, but... Here was good. I 
second from where I got to. Um, wow, I'm in this safe state. I'm like, where do they go from here? Oops. Where did that? And then I did this. Then I did... Oh, I did this. That's what I did. Okay, yeah. Nice one up. Oh. My safe state after this. <laughs> um, prevented by noise, Chapman. I will absolutely blame him for all of this. silly questions. I have no idea. Okay, yeah, so I can get back into this state. Um... Oh! 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 Hey! How does this sound? Alright! I guess there was... Yeah, I, I guess I needed the... Le the I almost had it, but that block needed to be won over before I moved it. Final message of the game. This is a classic example of a slide puzzle. That's the way you do it. This, it seems I completed every puzzle in the game. Congratulations! <laughs> Hmm, all right, Layton. Sharpen your skills and new weekly puzzles. I cannot do new, new weekly puzzles. That's that's it. That's the game. I, yep, we did it. Woohoo! We got our puzzle index. It is now complete. We are number one. And we got all the pickaxes because I will save. All the time, constantly. All right. Well, that's it for Professor Layton and the Curious Village. I hope you enjoyed all the all the puzzles. Hope you enjoyed the kind of really silly but cool story. And uh, I have to pick a game for next Wednesday. <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, tomorrow we finish Revenant Wings. So, uh, I need to put up a Patreon poll, I'm terrible at that, but I I'll get to that. But we're gonna play some, yeah, Professor Lightning and the Sliding Puzzles. We're gonna play Sonic Adventure 2. We are 12 A ranks away from getting all the emblems in the game. So we're gonna, the next Thursday or two, we're going to stream some Sonic Adventure 2 and hopefully get the rest of those A ranks. We have left the hardest till last because of course. Um, and we'll be doing a lot of canon scores. So we'll see you tomorrow at 7 EST for more Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Bye everyone! <laughs>